Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wasn't expecting to get one of these, uh, Batman Class 90. I've been at Rolex this weekend at the Model Rail Exhibition and um, there was a model shop there that had two of these. So I, um, I decided to snatch up one a bit lively. One had already been sold and uh, this was the second one which I purchased. He also had some RFD ones there which over the course of the weekend they went and the uh, Freightline Heavy Haul um, they were still there Sunday night, so I'm guessing that's probably not going to be as popular livery. But for my period, for my era, this is this is the one I wanted. So I was pleased with that. Um, as always, I'm not going to do a box open. I'm not going to do the review because I've said before, there's people far more um, into it than what I would ever be. But um, what we'll do is we'll go through. I'm going to pay for it. Uh, we'll fit the chip. I, um, I badgered Lego Biff. Um, to death this weekend and I've actually managed to get the uh, first prototype chip so we'll fit that and we'll go and see what noise it makes a bit later on and what it does um, so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the box and um, set to uh, changing it around a little bit what it does say on here is that you have to be careful what chip you actually use and because you've got a servo that drives a pantograph up and down and you just can't fit any old chip it's got to be one that um, can actually deal with a servo. Uh, the chip, the, uh, the sound chip I've got going into this um, does actually can deal with that, but it's just a warning that you need to be um, a little bit sort of careful with. I don't know if I can. Um there you go. You might be able to read that now. So, yeah, it's just a, a word of warning that um, you need to use the right thing. Right, so it out of the box. So there she is, in all her glory. There's four screws underneath that you need to take out which lifts up this panel here. And then that's where you put the chip in. So we'll do that a little bit later. Um, um, for now, what I need to do is change these wheels. So that's what I'm gonna do now.
Okay, right, so the next bit now is to um, release the cover to get to the chip. So that is done by, um, as I said earlier, there's four screws. Basically just undo them. Hopefully, this top bit comes out. Okay, so once you get the top off, just as always, a case of um, lifting this chip out or prying it out gently. I said it was the easiest thing to get hold of. the new Lego Biff one to go in. As I said this was the uh, this is the prototype one so this is the first one released. The Loco already has a speaker in it as well so um, You don't have to worry about that. Pop the new one in. Here we are in the train room, um, the 90s in the parcels bay, underneath the wires where she belongs. The chip is the Lego Biff um, Class 90. This is the very first one. I don't know whether or not this is on general release just yet, um, but I sort of badgered him, badgered him the whole weekend at Raylex um, until in the end he just sold me this one just basically to get rid of me, bless him. So um, I'm quite lucky to be able to bring you this today. So um, I'm going to uh, shut up and let the uh, 90 do the talking.
the pantograph does come up automatically within the startup procedure but should you want to uh, manually take it up and down currently it's on f8 One of the things that I was a bit concerned about when someone said, oh, there's a servo driving the pantograph, I said, oh, I hope that it, um, it doesn't just sort of come to a set height and stop, but it is actually quite flexible, which is a really good thing. So I was really pleased with that. So there's just a really quick look at what the 90 sounds like and what it does. Um, and um, you know, I'm sure as I said before there'll be other people reviewing this um, as and when they become available but um, yeah so this this is this is my version thank you thank you for watching